I am Elizabeth Mondragon, and I am playing the role of Amy in What Gets Kept and the role of the professor in Dreamless. It's What's interesting. I, I enjoy it because it gives me an opportunity to try on different hats within one show um, and express something. They're very different characters, I think. Um, but this is also a very difficult one because they are so different and the, show, the operas are back to back. So it's a bit of a challenge. Um, the professor I do in that she's very analytical and I tend to be very analytical as well. And so something like the study of dreams and sleep just fascinates me. Um, Amy probably less so only because I've never been in that type of position where, you know, I, I, I can't imagine having to uh, choose whether or not to end my life sooner than later because of a disease or an illness my ability to relate to the character came more um, from the opposite end of the spectrum, having recently lost a family member. It gave me a different perspective of possibly how that family member might have felt while he was still alive. And the other singers. Originating your role is has the most freedom involved, depending on who your composer, director, librettist team is, because um, everybody has very specific ideas of what they want. Um, but you can often shape it together, and that's the beauty of working with living composers and librettists. You can actually say, is this what you want? This is my idea, and it's a real collaborative effort as opposed to doing something that's already been done over and over again. For instance, singing Carmen, it's been done hundreds of thousands of times, but everybody decides, every singer who sings it decides what Carmen she is, and adds her own personal spin on it. And so it's just as satisfying, um, but there is a little less freedom there because of all of the preconceived ideas that have gone through. And the audience will definitely have their own opinion and their own reaction to your performance.